Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this strip and we're going to cut the top off so that it's nice and flat, right? Because we need it to be flat. Maybe a little bit of an angle so that it goes in easier. Okay, now we've got the strip ready to go inside the transmitter. Okay, Okay. so I wanted to show you what is happening on the inside of the uh, transmitter when we're putting the piece in. So this is the transmitter and this is the piece, right? So basically what is happening is when you're sliding the plastic piece in from the back, you're sliding it over, see these two connectors? Over the connectors, right? And when it's in there straight, it's gotta be perfectly straight, it'll stop. You see how it's stopping? It's stopping because it's hitting right here on the end of the transmitter, okay? And then it's holding, and so when, and it's the way that it's sitting in the transmitter, there's only room for it to go in right here and then slide in. So that's what you wanna remember when you're doing it, go in straight. The wider the test strip, the better. Um, but this is what happens, and then when you pull it out, these contacts touch the inside and make contact again and recycle. Okay, so what we're doing is, this is the transmitter. This, if you look underneath, you see that little slot right here? This slides under. So there's a top and a bottom. You're gonna shimmy it in. You're gonna hold your thumb up here to keep it from moving. Try and keep it stationary. And see, we just kinda shimmy it on up in there. You wanna go until it stops. And then you're gonna leave it like that for 25 to 30 minutes. Now mind you, we've already turned off the sync function on the devices. So now what it's done like a new toy at the toy store with that little plastic piece, it's disconnected the battery by separating the two terminals that touch each other normally. If you remember on the inside, and I'll show you later in the video, there's two rubber pieces that are the terminals. So you're gonna leave it like this for 25 minutes. Okay, so we're back. Now this is the inside of the transmitter, right? Do you see these two black pieces here? These are the contacts that make contact with the transmitter, do you see? And so kind of like you get a new kid's toy and it's got a little plastic piece inside. The goal is, is to disrupt the communication between these two filaments on both sides. And that is where the strip here comes into play and it slides up this little door. There's like a little doorway here, a little doorway, right? You see that? And the wider the strip, the better. And it guides it right up. So when it covers it, 20 minutes or 25 minutes, and then you pull it out and recycle it. And we're just entering in the new, the same code. Look at this cool little sticker. I got that too from that website. Bandsfordiabetics.com. You guys should go there, it's really neat. It was 9117, right, all of them? Yeah. Okay, so we've entered the secret code. It went to next, successfully, insert sensor. So you see, we're going along the whole process. Okay. So at 45 minutes, if it's still warming up. Then we're good to go. And it's going the way it should, we're good to go. What happens at 45 minutes if it's wrong? Then it ain't gonna work. It'll let you know. Yes. It'll say, what do you think it says? It, we haven't failed before. No restarts. Oh, no restarts? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. 